What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today I'm talking my weekly sneaker rotation, so stay tuned. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, I am back with another weekly sneaker rotation. This should be week 37 to the best of my knowledge. And if I'm wrong, feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section. Now, y'all know I started this series at the beginning of the year in 2023. And here we are right here already on week 37, right? Okay, so it's definitely been a journey for the kid, but y'all know I'm trying to go the entire year. And if you guys are feeling this series for sure, I'll definitely bring it back in 2024, which should be next year, right? Okay, which is. So without further ado, man, y'all know I end things on a pretty much Friday and pick right back up on Saturday. Now, I know at this point in the video, y'all are probably looking at me like, yo, what's going on with the bandana today, man? So if you haven't been living under a rock at this point, you should know or might figure it out by this point. I have added some new ink on my face and I'm just doing my best not to kind of come in contact with it. So fun fact for anybody who already has tattoos, probably already know this. Once you get them and you keep them clean, you just want to keep them moisturized and kind of not make contact with it or touch it until it actually has healed. And even still, you kind of just want to kind of like set it and forget it. So pretty much that's all I'm doing is just lifting it up slightly higher just to do it. But the show must go on point blank period. So let's start off this weekly sneaker rotation, right? Okay, so we're going to start right off on Saturday. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the kid had to make moves and head to the barbershop, which I'm probably overdue at the point that I'm time at the time that I'm shooting this video. So on Saturday, man, pretty much I don't know what really inspired me. But this week, I'm going to give you a hint. Well, I'll give you halfway through the video. You guys will probably figure out what I wore this week because y'all know I have been doing just kind of like pretty much a set like number of which shoe I'm going to do, right? Okay, so starting right off on Saturday, man, the kid went to the chop shop and I stepped out in none other than the Air Jordan 3 True Blue guys right here, okay? Hopefully the camera's doing this some type of justice right here. Now, I think this joint dropped in 2016, but don't quote me on that. And I can definitely tell I wore these joints in the barbershop because there's low-key hair, hair inside of these. So these were in 2016. True Blue 3s, man. Nike check on the back of these guys, which is very, very very important to me, right? Okay, definitely one of my favorite shoes in my collection. At this point, you probably should see some of the hair in here if you can't. I need to clean the inside of this joint. How to get there, I don't know, but low key, it's a shoe that I don't wear enough. And low key, you guys should already know, threes are one of my favorite shoes in my sneaker collection. Super duper comfortable, especially when you break them in. And I feel like they obviously, obviously sometimes I feel like they don't get the credit they deserve granted you can easily see like i guess notable names who probably wear threes often or do war or who did wear them often back in the day jay-z definitely wore um threes a lot back in the day specifically i want to say he wore the black cement threes but anyway this was my saturday shoe was the true blue joints and yeah you can tell i've had these joints for quite some time they're actually extremely dirty man but also still one of my favorite shoes in my collection and still i think in like good, con good condition now if i didn't say this in the beginning um we're gonna move right along on to Sunday but if I didn't say this in the beginning sign up for that sold out discord it will be pinned down in the comment section it is free to sign up I should have images already kind of posted in the sold out discord in the show your soul section right okay so the discord it is free to sign up and also I have other information over there we have shot drop information we have a music section a sports section so mostly dedicated still to sneakers though so let's move right along on to Sunday the kid was in the crib chilling and y'all know what I do when I'm chilling at this point if you've been watching the videos thus far right right here all up in your grill the Yeezy slide pure joints now these are basically I can say at this point I've just turned these into nothing but beaters and I'm not even ashamed like they're still wearable but I will say like I probably haven't said this in multiple videos already probably another good maybe good month or two and then I'm gonna have to move to my next slide right okay these guys have definitely done me well I picked these up in 2021 and I can say like honestly I've gotten my money's worth even though I paid resale for this pair totally was worth it super duper comfortable and the perfect just all around like grab and go house shoe super comfortable so much so fun fact obviously i just was like visiting with the tattoo artist and 
he used to be a foam runner guy because he's a big Yeezy guy, which I got a video coming for him pretty, pretty soon. He should know. Um, probably by the time this drops this video, I should already have that one already. I should have already done it at that time. Anyway, I will say this. He was a foam runner person, and then he finally gave the Yeezy slides a chance, and I believe he finally let him break in, and now he likes the slides over the foams, and that's where I'm at with it right now. I do have the foams, but I think I still take the slides over the foams, and that's just my opinion, and hey, who am I? Y'all sign up in the comment section what you prefer. This was my Sunday shoot. Now, let's move right along on to Monday. Now, you know the kid is right at to work. I work a full-time job. Y'all know how it goes, so pretty much on Monday, Day, the kid stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 3 NYX. Now this is one I think that a lot of people slept on and it doesn't have the Nike check on the back of these joints, but I still feel like it's a fire shoe. I don't know why what enticed me to pick this shoe up. I'm not really a Knicks fan, but I do, I am a fan of New York in general. I will say that to be fair, but I'm not like a Knicks fan. And to be all honesty, I think even in the sold out Discord, I think Cowboys played the Giants, and I think this is one of the reasons why I wore it. I'm like, low-key, Cowboys is kind of like a family-like team, so kind of how that spanking they put on them last week. I was like, you know what? I'm going to still show New York some love. So this is what this was about on Monday, man. So moving right along on to Tuesday. At this point, you'll probably see where the kid is going with what series he wore this week. Y'all sign up in the comment section. If you made it this far, you know what it is. Um, so moving right along on to Tuesday, the kid was right back in the office and I stepped in and none other than the Air Jordan 3 UNCs. Now these joints were very hard to obtain and if I'm not mistaken, these joints dropped in 2020. Don't quote me, let me double check on the tag. These definitely dropped, oh, 2019, but they were still definitely, or at least produced in 2019, right? Okay, let me double check this for sure. Um, Yeah, towards the end of 2019 is when they were produced, but I'm almost positive these probably didn't really, if they hit, it was towards the end of 2019 and probably beginning of 2020. These were very, very hard to obtain, and this is also around the time when like pretty much everything was slowly starting to shut down, and these were pretty hard to obtain, and the, did, the kid did have to come off the hip with the chips, but I I didn't get cracked over the head too bad for these guys right here but i did have to pay a little extra to have these in the collection now no nike check on the back of these but i don't know something about when i see a unc colorway it's definitely gonna make the kid definitely think about them for sure man so other than that this is what i wore on tuesday arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collection and um like i said i bought these actually used but they were in very very good condition so i really can't knock the person who had these before me so i appreciate them for taking care of me and obviously i felt like they've come to a great home so this was my Tuesday shoot. Now, we're going to move right along on to Wednesday, right? Okay. Now, Wednesday is when the kid actually stepped inside the tattoo shop. I've been working on my leg, right? Okay. So I definitely probably going to have a come get a tattoo video with me up pretty soon as well if you guys haven't figured that out so on wednesday and of course i added this on the middle of my face but anyway on wednesday what i wore to the tattoo shop is right here the air Jordan 3 black cement now i think these dropped in 2018 and i'm gonna double check this right here actually yeah i think they were produced in 2017 but i think they didn't actually drop until 2018 but the production date is definitely 2017 i remember i actually picked these up I want to say right at Foot Locker, but don't quote me on that, but I'm also almost positive I picked them up at Foot Locker. Arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collections. I even had the previous pair where the Jumpman was on the back, but once I got that Nike check on the back of these things, I sold my previous pair with the Jumpman on them. So pretty much one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Arguably, I don't wear it enough. And back in the day, that Jumpman pair I had, I used to wear that shoe like almost every week right okay like i think i wore those things into the ground and i still was able to break even when i sold those guys because even still i still took care of them man but um those joints i think they're not gonna fall away but the chip uh the paint was chipping on the inside of this joints on the older pair that i had like that white pair uh the white sole part on this part it was actually chipping that's always been kind of like one of the major problems with air Jordan threes but this arguably is one of my favorite shoes in my collection i feel like you can't go wrong with the black cement three definitely timeless shoe man and they can drop this shoe next year, year after that. I'm probably still gonna go for it just to get a fresh pair each and every time, man. Arguably one of my favorite ones in my collection is that I don't wear enough. So this is what I wore when I was at the tattoo shop on Wednesday. All right, cool. So we're gonna move right along on to Thursday. The kid was right back to work because again, the kid just really, 
Low key, I don't take a day off unless I absolutely positively have to. So on Thursday, the stepped in, the kid stepped in none other than the Fire Red Threes. Now I'm almost positive I picked these joints up last year. Arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. So I'm gonna check the production date on this. Um, definitely 2022. So definitely picked these up last year. I remember actually getting them and I rocked this with that all red fit. A shoe that I feel like people slept on this shoe for no freaking reason, man. Nike check on the back of the joint. When it's on, when I'm gonna put it this way. And I'm probably talking like probably to the OG sneakerheads, which I'm in the middle and I'm almost there. But I will say this for the people that's been collecting for quite some time, when that Nike check on the back of here, <laughs> you can almost you can guarantee the true OGs from the come out or the true collectors from the come out each and every time, man. Not the retailers and not to take shots at the hype beast or anybody like that. Even though this is just like this shoe kind of low-key is a little plain Jane, but it's one of these things where I feel like it don't get enough love, and I feel like it definitely deserves it. And my pair, low key, slightly dirty. I've been wearing it probably a lot more than what I realized. So this was my Thursday shoe, arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. And I can say that about probably almost every shoe. All right, cool. So we're gonna close things out for the week, and I think this is arguably one of my favorite threes in my collection past the black cement threes or the white cement threes and i know what you guys may be thinking but you may be surprised what it actually is so on friday man the kid had to make some moves run some errands and y'all know how that goes so pretty much i stepped in none other than the air jordan 3 i'm a mon year now no secret i had to come off the hip with the chips on these guys i remember when these joints dropped they really broke off and took off on a life of their own man now when the production dates on these i'm almost positive 2020 yeah i want to just double check the sale laces on this joints like i still didn't even take off the like tag of this joint on the side of over here and like it's one of those like tags where it's tied so i feel like it's not going to come off as easily as like the other type of tags that they put on these joints so i was like why not and yes it does like I guess chingaling sound pause when I walk across the uh, ground and makes noise. I don't care, man. I like it, and it's kind of one of these old school things. I know a lot of people kind of take it off, but I know back in the day, and Dunks can vouch for me, sometimes with some stuff, we just used to never take the tags off. One of the things, fun fact, when me and Dunks was into like new era hats, when we used to wear fitted hats, we used to keep all the stickers and the tags on the shoe the entire time. Why we did that, I don't know to this date, but that is one of the things we used to do back then. I remember I made a mistake and did it one time, and Dunks literally like went off like, yo, that's what makes it cool, put it back on there this and the third like stop and so i left it alone and i've never taken them off ever since then but pretty much i don't know why it's just like this is a unique colorway and in my opinion this is arguably the best like I'm a, I'm a my gear collab they did with jordan like i know they've done other collabs i know we got in 12s i know they've done ones which i have a pair of those and um i know they've done twos and i know they've done some airships as well and i'm probably forgetting some other shoes along the way here but i think arguably the threes of our are, are the best collab that i'm my year has done with jordan to date man arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collection and the nike check on the back of this is just true man it's it's perfect i was gonna say tremendous which i think that it's 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 great man it's a super great design shoe i think i love that the a logo, which is the I'm My Year logo on the tongue, is prices on this joint. The quilted on the inside of this joint is just, it's it's amazing. Like, honestly, this was, was well thought out. And I think it's just gonna be hard to, con like, whether we do it or not consciously, I feel like we low key are gonna compare every I'm My Year drop to the three, no matter if it's a different silhouette or not, right? Okay, at least I do, I'm guilty of it. But this was my Friday shoe, man. And pretty much, that was pretty much it for the week, man, that I rocked out. So this pretty much is gonna wrap up this weekly sneaker rotation, man. What do you guys think, man? Y'all sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you wore throughout the week as well, man, because I definitely be curious and y'all know I read the comment sections faithfully, right? Okay, but this was my weekly sneaker rotation for week 37. Um, other than that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button it really helps the channel out and if you're new consider subscribing i made content about sneakers again my name is jeremy jones and thank you for watching and i'm out I think, uh...